All right, hello there and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we're gonna be talking about rotoscoping and how to do it in After Effects. Now, what is rotoscoping? Well, it's basically when you want to say, remove a subject from your image and give it a new background. Now in After Effects, thankfully, this is uh, pretty easy to do with a few tools. So we are going to get into it. So how do we do this? Well, down here, you see that I have some footage of a boy. He's drinking some water or juice. And what we need to do is we need to go into our layer panel. So I'm gonna double click on this. And this brings up the layer panel and I will close this right here. Now up here, you will see that we have two tools we can use. We have the Roto Brush tool and the Refine Edge tool. The Roto Brush tool is used to give you a rough outline of your subject. And then the Refine Edge tool is to really clean up the edges. So I'm gonna select the Roto Brush tool Notice that this circle and plus appears. And notice I can make it bigger or smaller, so I can press control and then drag. That makes it smaller or bigger, however you want. So I'll leave it around here. And if I hold down Alt, this minus appears, and this will allow me to remove selections. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm going to make my selection. So I'm just gonna go in here like this. Try to stay on the inside like that. And notice how my selection has been made. And if you want to see how this really looks, go to your composition. And now we see that our subject or our foreground has been separated from the background. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm actually going to remove some parts and maybe add a little bit up here. So I'm gonna zoom in here and then make this smaller. So we have something like this. All right, so now that we've done our initial selection with the roto brush, we are now going to refine our edges because if we go over here, we will see that it's a little rough around the top right here and that can be smoothed out. So we wanna clean that up and you'll have to do this with hair a lot. So um, it's good to know how to use the tools. Let's go back in here. And now we are going to select our Refine Edge tool. And you will see that we have this plus sign and circle again. And if I want to make it bigger or smaller, I can do that. And if I press Alt, I'm able to remove parts from my selection. So to do this, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And what you want to do is you want to put this plus sign on the purple line. And then just try to go around right about here. like that. Now, what has actually happened here? You will see that we have this x-ray that has appeared. And this is actually called our x-ray view. And you can toggle this view off down here by selecting the toggle refine edge x-ray. So here we have it off, here we have it on. And what we're seeing here is with this white, this is showing us what has actually been refined. And then the black is showing us what is transparent or not going to be affected. And if I want to turn this off again, you see it. And you see the purple here as well. That's showing us what has been affected or refined. Now we also have a few more views down here as well. We have the toggle alpha view, which shows us our selection or our alpha channel. We have the toggle alpha boundary, which shows us everything that is in our boundary right here or in our purple line. And then we have this toggle alpha overlay which shows us the background and our foreground or the subject. And if you want to change the color of this, you can. So you can make it whatever color you want, like white. Press OK. And you can change the opacity down here like this. All right. So that's how the Refine Edge tool works. I'm actually going to try to refine a little bit more of his skin right here. It feels a little bit rough and maybe even some of the shirt. All 
All right, so I just refined the whole thing actually, and we have something like this. All right, so now that we've done our refined edges, I wanna show you guys the strokes down here and the properties. So you will see that down here in our layer, we have the rotor brush effect tool and the refined edge tool. And then if we go down here, we have all of these different strokes. And these strokes are actually one frame long. One frame, one frame. And there's different types of strokes as well. So if I zoom down to the beginning, we see that we have a foreground stroke. And if we click on it, it appears. And this was the first stroke that we did with our roto brush tool. So your foreground strokes are the strokes that you use with your roto brush tool. Now we also have background strokes as well. These are what we use to select our background or deselect our subject when we hold down the alt and the minus appears. So those are your background strokes. And then if we go up, we will see that we have edge refinement strokes as well. And if I change the view, maybe you'll see it better. Yep, right here. And there's also another type of stroke as well that we don't have down here. I'll show you guys very quickly. If I grab the Refine Edge tool and I hold down the Alt key and then drag out a stroke, you will see that we have the Erase Edge Refinement stroke also. And this erases the edge refinement. Now I'm just going to press Control Z or Command Z if you're on a Mac to undo that. And I'm going to turn off my X-ray view. Okay, so now we need to do the rendering so that the background is removed from the entire video. And to do this, we're going to look over here. Now there's two ways to render this. You can either press spacebar and it will just play through and render, or you can just press page down and go frame by frame. And there's a benefit of going frame by frame because if you see an error, you are able to then fix it right then and there. Whereas if you just press spacebar, you would have to stop it and then go back and find where the mistake is. So I'm going to show you guys this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit actually. So like this and we'll bring this down and then we'll make this 100% so that we can really see it. And then press page down to go through. So here we see right around here, this can be cleaned up. Now I'm gonna use the rotor brush tool background. That cleans it up. All right, so we have just finished our rotoscoping and this is what we have. All right, now what we want to do is we want to start using these effects over here. But before we do that, we're gonna drop in our background to see what we're working with. So I'm gonna to go to project and I'm going to bring in my new background. So control I, and then I will find my footage that I wanna use. Let's use this video here, import. And I'm gonna drop it down here. All right, good. Now what we need to do is we need to clean up his edges right here and we really need to make him blend in a little bit better with this background. So over here we have a few different options. We have this propagation, so that deals with like your strokes. You have something called the fine tune roto brush mat. And when this is checked, this allows us to make changes to our roto brush strokes. And to really see this, I'm gonna open up the layer panel right here and I'm gonna turn on the toggle alpha right here and you will see that if I adjust this so like if I bump up the feather notice how it's actually adjusting the feather and to see this better we'll turn this off right here and if you look at this now especially around the neck you can see that it's feathered out a lot I'm gonna put that back to five I can also adjust things like the contrast 
and then the shift edge. And this is a good one because very often you may want to push the edge in. So if I bring this down, notice how that edge starts to go away where that green is. So it just cleans it up a little bit better. And you can add maybe a little bit more feather to this. So let's do eight. And you can adjust the chatter as well. And this cleans up your edges when your frame changes. So it makes it look better. But I'm going to leave it at zero. We also have the option to render the refined edges. So if you turn this off right here, notice all of your refined edges that you did with your refine brush are removed. If you turn it off, if I turn it back on, they're back on. And I have this base refine edge radius. Notice if I turn on my x-ray and I was to say bump this up, it would simply just increase the radius of my refined edges like that. I'm going to put it back at zero though. And here, if I have the fine tune refined edge mat on as well, I can make adjustments to my refined edge. So I could say, turn down the shift edge a little bit. Maybe smooth it out right about there. And you have other options down here that you can look into, like motion blur, etc. Now I'm just going to try to clean this up a little bit more, and we'll try to finish up here. All right, so this is what I'm going to go with right here. I'm going to jump back to my composition. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pre-compose this boy. So, so we'll press Control, Shift, and C, or Command, Shift, and C if you're on a Mac. And then we're going to move all the attributes into a new composition, like that, so that we can apply curves to this. Now you can use the Lumetri color or the curves. I'll use Lumetri here. And now we can just try to blend this boy into the background. So I will open up the curves. And then I'll just move him over a little bit. So press P and drag him over right about there. And if I play this back now, I have something like this. All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you how you can use rotoscoping when, say, you have a bad green screen and you can't reshoot. So here I am in my room and I have this green screen and it's not the best well lit. Well, I could use After Effects rotoscoping tools to actually help me. Well, I have it in my composition here and you will see that I'm in my layer panel. And then I am going to rotoscope this. So I'm going to go up here and just do this right here, just like this. And I'm going to clean it up. All right, this is what I have. And if I go to my composition, so right over here, this is what we have right now. And that looks pretty good. And if we want, we can now say adjust the shift edge. So we can turn this guy on down here and good. Now I'm going to go ahead and render it. But before we do that, I want to show you guys this freeze option here. If you click this here, it's going to render your video. And when you do this, it's going to create a cache as well but it's also going to lock your render, meaning that you're not going to be able to change it or make corrections. So this can be very helpful when say you've done your render and you don't want it to be changed at all. So I'm gonna select it just to show you guys. Notice how it renders everything out. All right, so this is what we have. And notice now if I tried to make a change with like the Rotobrush tool, notice that now if I tried to make a change, 
Nothing would happen down here, it's frozen. The update would not be made. It's the same with the Refine Edge tool as well. I mean, we see an update down here, but over here with the render, nothing has changed. If I want it to be updated, I have to select this freeze and then the update is made. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these two changes because I like what I had, like this. And if we pull it over here, we see we have this. So that's how you can use rotoscoping to fix a bad green screen. Now I hope that you learned a lot in this tutorial and that you will give this stuff a try and we will see you in the next one. Until next time.